Hi, I'm Sandy with Warner Realty Group and today we're going to talk to buyers about that pesky little electronic friend that's probably in every house that you're going to see. Have you been touring around in houses and maybe chatting with your spouse or your partner or your kids or even your agent about your real opinion about the color of the carpet in the living room? One thing to bear in mind when you're house hunting in today's day and age is that so many homes have really cool electronic gadgets that don't look like they're recording devices. You might be saying to yourself, well, hey, you know, I have a right to privacy. Uh, one thing you want to bear in mind is when you're house hunting or when you go into someone else's home, you don't have the same right to privacy, say, that you do in a public space. So the reason we want to think about that is there's a couple reasons. Number one, you don't want to be mean to the seller, right? You don't want to insult a seller because it could be that you are going to turn around and, and have to negotiate with that seller. And number two, you don't want to give your hand away. You don't want to be forthright with all of your information and then give the seller uh, leverage because the seller knows that, hey, you're only going to offer 300000 but you, you think the house is worth 400000 You don't want to share any of that kind of stuff. So the pro tip for today is uh, loose lips sink ships, even in house hunting. Watch out for Alexa in the room. Remember, because a homeowner can drop into any room and listen to what you're saying. If you're standing outside the house, a lot of people have Google Nest. They can watch and listen to you. And number three, you don't have the same right to privacy in someone else's home that you have in your own. So keep your opinions to yourself until you're away from the house. Good luck, I hope you get the house.